Well, this is a life-size replica of the boat that was found in the burial mound. And uh, that's quite impressive to have dragged that up from the river and get some sense of direction shortly. Right, that is impressive. That is Edith Pretty's house where she lived. Latterly known as the Tranmere House because the people that owned it for 25, 30 years after Edith Pretty were called Tranmere. And it was the Tranmere family that handed it over to the National Trust. It's a beautiful spot, this. What have we got in bed? Well, this is to the left up the, along there is the Royal Burial Ground. Yeah. And it was the signpost to the front door of the East Anglian Kingdom. So if you were standing here 1400 years ago, there would have been a, a cremation going on at a royal cemetery where the smoke had been able to see for miles. So, yeah. So two up there is who? Yeah. And then three is the Royal Burial Grounds, which are just over the hill, I think. Yeah. Looking at that. And the, the River Deben. Deben, Deben, which must be down there. Yeah. Oh, across there, yeah. Yeah, so it's that down towards them. So the, the boat will have been pulled out of the river down there and then yeah. brought to the burial ground. That's quite incredible when you see the distance, isn't it? It is quite a distance. Thursday work, this Anglo-Saxon yeah. history walking. Yeah. 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 This dog likes digging. She, does, she could have really helped him out. She could, yeah. <laughs> Put off with the odd bone though. Yeah. Yeah. That's the other side of the large mound. There was some further excavation on this in the 1980s and they actually put it back to the height that the original felt it would have been left at because over time obviously the earthworks subside and that's why as you pan around the rest of the burial mounds the slight seen a slight undulations but once they get the new tower open I, have a good, I suggest you'll be able to get a good view of the topography of the layout of the 17 or so royal burial mounds <laughs> 